After the person rests for a few hours, a second scan is performed and the resulting image is compared with that obtained during exercise. Doctors can then distinguish areas of the heart where inadequate blood flow is reversible, usually caused by narrowing of the coronary arteries from areas where it is irreversible, usually caused by scarring due to a previous heart attack. If a heart attack may have occurred very recently, technetium-99 is used instead of thallium-201. With technetium, damage due to a heart attack can be de uh, detected after 12 to 24 hours and up to about one week. Until thallium, which accumulates primarily in normal tissue, technetium accumulates primarily in abnormal tissue. However, because technetium also accumulates in bone, the ribs somewhat obscure the image of the heart. A specialized type of radionuclide imaging called single photon emission computed tomography can produce a series of computer enhanced cross-sectional images. A three-dimensional image can also be produced providing more information about function, blood flow, and abnormalities that than does conventional radionuclide imaging. In positron emission tomography, a substance necessary for heart cell function, such as oxygen or sugar, is labeled with a radioactive substance, radionuclide, that gives off positrons, electrons, with a positive charge. The labeled nutrient is injected into a vein and reaches the heart in a few minutes. PET is used to determine how much blood is reaching different parts of the heart muscle and how different parts of the heart muscle <coughs> process or metabolize various substances. For example, when labeled sugar is injected, doctors can determine which parts of the heart muscle have an inadequate blood supply because those parts uh, use more sugar than normal. PET scans produce clearer images than do other radioclide procedures. However, the procedure is very expensive and not widely available. It is used in research and in cases in which simpler, less expensive procedures are inconclusive. The person is placed inside a ring-shaped PET scanner, which detects radiation all around the person and records sites of high activity. The more active an area of the heart muscle, the more positrons it takes up and the more radiation it gives off. Different colors in the resulting scan indicate how, a, how active different areas of heart muscle are. A computer constructs a three-dimensional image of the area. Cardiac catheterization used with coronary angiography is the most accurate method of diagnosing coronary artery disease. Used together, the two procedures are the only way to directly measure the pressure of blood in each chamber of the heart and to obtain an image of the interior of coronary arteries. These procedures are performed to determine whether angioplasty or coronary artery bypass surgery is technically feasible. They may be performed to confirm the diagnosis of other heart diseases, to determine the severity of a heart disorder, or to detect the cause of worsening symptoms. More than a million cardiac catheterizations and angiographic procedures are performed every year. They are relatively safe and complications are rare. With cardiac catheterization and angiography, the chance of a serious complication such as stroke, heart attack, or death is 1 in 1,000. Fewer than 0.01% of people undergoing these procedures die. Most of those who die already have a severe heart disorder or other disorder. The risk of complications and death is increased for older people. Cardiac catheterization is used extensively for the diagnosis and treatment of heart disease that is not due to disease of the coronary arteries. Cardiac catheterization can be used to measure how much blood the heart pumps out per minute that is cardiac output and to detect birth defects of the heart and tumors such as myxoma. In cardiac catheterization, a thin catheter, a tubular flexible surgical instrument, 
is inserted into an artery or vein through a uh, puncture made with a needle or a tiny incision. A local anesthetic is given to numb the incision site. The catheter is then threaded through the major blood vessels and into the heart chambers. The procedure is performed in the hospital and takes 40 to 60 minutes.